Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's talk about problem 46 in chapter 2. In this one, we can draw a picture to understand what happens. It tells us a runner hopes to complete 10,000 runs in less than 30 minutes. So the total uh, displacement is 10,000 10, meters. And then for less than 30 minutes, so the total time consumed, we expect it's just uh, 30 minutes, right? And tell us after running at a constant speed of uh, 27 minutes, so we can say at the part one, we can consider this part at the part one, the runner moves at a constant velocity, we say it is V1, we don't know yet, so we put it there. And the time taking for the part one is 27 minutes, we must convert it to a unit second, and it's easy. And then there's still 1.1 thousand meter to go, so that means the part two and the part three is uh, 1.1 thousand uh, meter, so the part one is just 8.9 thousand meter, do you agree? Because the total is 10 thousand meter. So in this one, we know the displacement and the time taken in part one. Therefore, it's very easy for us to get the velocity v1. And then the runner must must the accelerate tell us the acceleration 0 0.2 meter per second square for how many seconds in order to achieve the desired time. So in the part in the rest part, we can say this is part two. Okay, this is part two. This is part three. They tell us a must the accelerate. So there must the, that means for part two, we must let the runner to speed up, speed up, right? Speed up with the acceleration A2, 0 0.2 meter per second square. We don't know how much displacement for this part, and we don't know the time taken for this part. And for the part three, because of uh, we want we can make the runner moves at a constant velocity, constant velocity at with v2, right? That means the uh, with v2, and we don't know the displacement moved at part three and the time taken moved at part three, but we know the total distance uh, displacement in part two and part three is 1.1 thousand meter, and the time taken for the t2 and t3 is just three minutes. That is. 180 seconds. So in this one, we can from this picture, it becomes clear. There is a runner. He moves at a constant velocity v1 for first 8.9 meters at the uh, 1,620 seconds for part one. Then he or she just speed up with the acceleration 0 0.2 meter per second square. Uh, at the time t2 and moves x, x2. At this time, he reaches the velocity v2, right? At the velocity v2, he or she keeps move at this constant velocity v2 at the time t3 and moves, moves displacement x3. There, he or she must satisfy the requirement the x2 plus x3 is 1,100 meter. A time taking t2 plus t3 must be 3 minutes. Now it's clear, right? So now we list all the low uh, quantities there. We do the calculations. So very easy, we can do the calculation to find v1. Do you agree? So this one, because in part one, the runner moves at a constant of velocity. So v1 can get in this very simple equation 5.5 meter per second. And then we can get it at this part, we can satisfy these two conditions we find x2 and x3 okay so we can say in this one we know v1 is given so at part two the initial velocity is v1 the acceleration is given right so and the time t2 we don't know but we can write this equation the displacement x2 is just as a v1 t2 plus one half a t2 square do you agree yes no problem this is very nerd in this chapter and then at the part three, as a part three, we can say it moves at a constant velocity v2. Do you agree? So the v2 can get as the v at zero. So v2 is just the initial velocity v1 plus acceleration times the time taken. This one. 
So the x3 is use the v2 times t3, so v2. It moves at a constant velocity v2 times t3 there. So we put the v2 inside, and the, because t2 plus t3 is 180 seconds there, so we write the t3 as 180 seconds minus t2. Now you can see we have these two equations, this one and this one. And the x2 plus x3 must satisfy this equation, this one. So x2 plus x3, we put these two equations together, must equals to 1.1 thousand. And then in this equation, only t2 is unknown. We can solve the problems, get the t2 is 3.1 seconds. Uh, that's all. And this problem is a little bit difficult. And if we just uh, draw a picture and understand what happens, and uh, input or list all the known quantities. And then in each part, you figure out the unknown quantities. And then just use the right equations, it can be solved. Thank you.